lost. Okay, hey guys, so I'm sorry about my messy table, but I'm back here with another video of me. No, not of me, but I'm back here with another video, and then today's video will be, I just put my picture so I have enough to take a long video. And my table is shaking. So today's video is going to be of my story time. And this story time is not the happiest story time because it's of how my horse died. Um, and of how our barn burnt down. So let's start. And a couple other things. So let's start. I moved to more certain, like, better spot here behind that briar right there. So we are going to start off at the barn fire. So it was before my horse died and it was the barn fire. I had my horse, Daphne, she was my baby, my everything. I visited her every day, I went out to see her. And she was black and white, like a paint horse, but she was a um, registered Oldenburg. And she was like such a nice quality. If I can, I'll insert a picture here of her. She was like everything for me. I loved her so much. So it was just heartbreaking to see her go, but we'll get to that later. So with the barn fire, it was just a normal day. We had chicks in the barn and they were the cutest little, little, cute little things. They were so cute. And don't worry, I know you think they must have died. And yes, that's what we thought too. At this time, my dad isn't the most secure person in the world. I don't know if he's watching this, so I'm not going to say everything like that, so, yeah. But what I was going to say was, he works in law enforcement and, like, that all stuff, but one day we were, we had our chicks, and we were like, we need a rooster, because we thought they were all hens, but I'm sure they weren't all hens. That's what we just figured, because we didn't know how to tell the difference. We weren't that crazy chicken person like we are now. Um, so, at this time, I was kind of like, yay, we get to go get a rooster from this lady named Justine. She's our friend now. So, Justine was nice at first. <laughs> okay, so we were going to get a rooster. Be right before I left, I went out, my mom took me, or my mom didn't tell me, but I rode my bike out to get, I mean, to check on the chicks and, like, do their water and stuff. So when I was riding my bike out, I was halfway out to the barn. It was a really big barn, gorgeous. Just, I was like halfway out, halfway in, because we kind of live like, we live over here, and we have to take like, there's a circle driveway for semi trucks, so you have to drive around, but you have to, like, I was, like our house is here, and the barn is down here. So I rode my bike over here, and I started smelling smoke. I was like, I was like, oh, um, somebody's having a campfire because I thought I heard like music and they have campfires all the time over here. So I was like, oh, somebody's having a campfire, so cozy and warm. But that wasn't the case. After I heard of the campfire, I got closer to the barn. So the barn was right here. I was right here. I started seeing smoke coming out of our attack room. I saw this huge black, like, all the way back. I was, like, breaking out. And, like, I was, like, and I wasn't crying. But I went in, inside the barn, inside the barn. And I went in, and I opened the tack room door. And a whole bunch of black smoke came in my face. I couldn't see anything in the tack room. I was freaking out because the chicks were in there. At this time, I was not thinking about my barn cats. I have two. I had two barn cats in there, so good thing I wasn't thinking. But I ran as f I left my bike in there. So obviously, that bike is ripped to that bike. Um, but I ran as fast as I could. I was barefoot, and I ran as fast as I could up to the house. And I was like, "Mom, I'm on the barn." The barn's burning down, and I got on my knees, and I was crying, so I was like bawling my eyes out, and I was like, the barn's burning down, and I 
was screaming that I was right in a hallway. My mom was going to the bathroom. My brother was in his room. And they were like, what, what, what? And they thought I was saying like something like else. And I was like, no, the bar's burning down. The bar's, I wasn't laughing like I am now. Why am I laughing? I don't know. But I was like, the bar's burning down. This happened in May of 2017. And I was like, the bar's burning down. Okay. At this time, we had our stallion, Boomer, locked in a stall in there, and our mare, Bull, was also locked in a stall, stall in there, and we also had a little round pin right attached to the barn, which was right, right outside the barn, and it was attached to the barn, and we had our little, my little sport, sport pony in there. So that was at four horses, like, life risk. Um, so the mare and was actually not locked in the stall, but she wouldn't come out unless the stallion went out. So, and the stallion's door was locked in, so he couldn't go out. Okay, here's where it gets to the scary part. I run up to the house, they were out there, I call 911, okay, they asked me the dimensions of the barn. I'm like, seriously lady? Okay. Then she puts me to the fire department. I tell her what her address is, blah, 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 blah. I see my brother going over on the side of the barn to open up the stallion's door to get out, out to the pasture, paddock. And I see him walking back and the door was still closed. I was like, Grayson! I was screaming his name. I was like, open the door! And he was like, I don't know. And he was like freaking out and he ran inside the barn. I thought that was the last time I was going to see him. Then I see my mom walking around, because he couldn't get the door open, because it was a hard door to open, but then I see my mom walking around, she opened the door and let him out, and then that's when the mayor went out. You can see what happens there. She got pregnant, yep, and she already had a full, so. Okay, okay, and the mayor works out, and they're gone, but we still have the pony trapped in the round pen. He was my baby too, I love him. Um, so we're freaking out, we weren't worrying about him at this time. I wasn't out there, but I saw him, my brother ran into the barn, what else did he do? Hey, um, she, what are you, okay. I saw my brother walking out with like, the fire extinguisher, but he dropped it because it wasn't working. And he thought that I was gonna put it out, which was sweet. But at this moment, when my brother went out, our tractor was on fire. Because our tractor, our barn sit here, sit here, and our tractor sit here, so it's like really close. So they sat really close. Sorry, I was getting my chicken and cheese inside, but. Wings, thank you. Millions of times getting her. Okay, so at this moment, our whole barn was Wings, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, at this time, the whole barn was flaming on fire. If I can, I'll insert a picture right here. It might be before, after, whatever. Okay, it was kind of, um, the fire department wasn't there yet, and the whole barn was on fire. We thought we were gonna save half of it, but that didn't happen. So at this time, we were worrying about the pony and the ramble because we were like, the barn's gone. No hope, the barn's gone. Okay, at this moment, we were, okay, we had a tack room and a shop. At this moment, we were worrying about the pony, which was attached to the barn. I thought he was dead already, and a whole bunch of smoke came by. I couldn't see my mom, and I couldn't see my brother. So I thought they were both dead, and my pony was dead. So... And then all the smoke went by. I thought our house was going to burn down at the moment. Um, but all the smoke went by. My, okay. I ran up the house, started getting our animals into the car because I thought the house was going to burn down. I let our dogs out and everything, but my dad starts calling me. Okay. You're probably wondering, how did this barn fire start? Let's just say there's a guy named Lo. He is a sheriff. He started the bonfire. We thought it was the heat lamp at first, but okay. There's tons more story to go, so this is gonna be a long video. Let's say there was. Okay. 
we were still worrying about my pony. So our neighbor came and he was like, I don't know what to do. So he went back to his house as fast as he could. He grabbed his tools and came back and he undid the round pen and everything and got Oliver out, which was the pony, my pony. Um, I ran up to my friend because he ran up to me and I was like, oh, Oliver. So I was happy he didn't die. Um, we didn't lose any horses. We lost our two brown cats and yeah. So that was kind of the end. The fire department was there by now and they were kind of getting it under control. I was crying obviously because our bottom burned down. Okay. Okay, this is really confusing. Okay. The next part was months later after the bomb burned down. It was the day after Christmas. My mom got pulled over. By who? Whoa! The guy that burnt down our barn. Yes. At this time, we didn't know he burnt down the barn. We thought he was like just a guy that pulled us over. He was a sheriff. Sheriffs don't pull people over. He was like, you're all over the road. Thought like she was driving perfect. He was like, you don't stand. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, after the pullover, we stayed there, they gave us our test for like hours. At this time, it was, when we left, it was like 3 in the morning. And, yeah, we got there at like 7 or 12 or something. I don't know. No, not 12. Sorry. Not 12. Uh, um, like 7 or 10. Okay. Is the video going to stop? We'll have to do a part 2 if this stops, so... Just be prepared for part two if it does stop. I'm gonna wait and see if it stops because I think it's gonna stop. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so at this time, um, after the bomb brother, on January 3rd, I woke up and my friend was coming over for a sleepover. I looked at the window, and this was the worst day of my entire life. The best day was when I got my horse, Daphne, and she was a paint Oldenburg, but she didn't have any paint in her, but what I was going to say was, this is kind of hard and emotional to say, but I looked out the window, and I saw her, and my other mare was standing next to her, like, looking down, and she, she was dead, but I can't insert a picture in a second. Um, but, so, I looked out the window, I was like, my mom, mom, Daphne looks dead, and it was freaking out, she was like, she, she was dead, um, so my mom was like, no, she's sleeping, she can't be dead, she, horses just don't die, like that, so, um, our well person was here at the moment, he walks up to the door, rings the doorbell, we go up there and um, he says, I think that horse is dead. And my mom starts bawling, bawling out her eyes. I do too. And I'm like, this can't be real. I'm not, this can't be real. So I'm not really crying because I'm just thinking it's all fake and like something happened. I don't know. I just think it's fake. So I prayed and stuff, but that didn't work. But I know it does work, but it was just not to get to that point. Okay. So, at this moment in time, Grayson! Be back soon. Okay, I'm back. So, at this moment, I, when we were walking out there, she was like, I think she's dead and stuff. And my mom just started saying she got shot. 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 And we walk out there, and my mom walked out there first. She didn't want me to come out there, obviously, for reasons, because she didn't want me to see the dead horse, but I wouldn't end up going out there. And she started screaming. I started freaking out and I just, it was like, I was in shock, so much shock. She had a, a bullet hole, I'll insert it right here. Right in her forehead. Does that happen on accident? No. Low, low, low burned down our barn. Low pulled us over, low shot the horse. My horse, my baby, my everything. Um, here's a couple more pictures of her. If they do pop up, I'm not that good of an editor, so I don't know if they're gonna. But yeah, low shot horse. And, um...
So now I'm trying to just live in my life. This is actually this is the horse that was stuck in the round pen. Um, he was stuck in the round pen. This isn't the paint horse that my doll, but she is, he's my horse now. His name's Oliver. And my horse was named my horse's name was Daphne. But what I was gonna say was, um, she she will have a bridal horse because she's gonna be faded. Oh, right. so my dad is all involved with this. But um, if you don't know what a bridal horse is, this is a bridal horse. They're like model horses, and I have this horse with her, this guy. Um, her mouth is this color too, but she was my everything and I really miss her a lot. I miss her more than anything in the world. I miss her so much and I can't wait to see her in heaven. So that was my story time. If you guys did enjoy please give this video a like and please subscribe and it would help my channel out a lot.